<laughs> hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ajima Theo here and I'm back to do another interesting video. I have the beautiful Christiana Hurt here and we are going to have a, a tons of in information for you guys. Stay tuned and continue watching. Christiana Hurt, owner and founder of Building College Kid, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to find funds for your business. And I have a special guest. Hey guys, it's Aja here, back to do another interesting video this time. <laughs> it's always interesting when you're trying to find money, and that's what's so crazy yes. about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off of how I found funds to start my business. I was a full-time nanny and like caregiver on care.com. I specialized in children only under the age of five because I felt like children over the age of five had attitude problems and opinions. Yeah. So I only did I only did infants. So I did care.com. I was a server at Wing House. I was a server at Twin Peaks. I was a server at Hooters. I did all your favorite boob related wow. with no boobs. That's what's so crazy. I was able to make money with no boobs. I just clear personality. That's dope though. Yes. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> clear personality and a smile. But um, that is how I got funds and then eventually graduating to the Chase Freedom credit card that I just walked in the bank and prayed for the best thing I walked out with. Wow. Right? Look. I just, I just <laughs> went in there and I was like, yeah, um, Fingers crossed. I made 300 grand a year, which I made like $300 a year, but I was manifesting. Yes. <laughs> but that's a little bit. Manifestation. Yes. Manifestation. <laughs> How did you come up with funds when you first got started? Okay. So it was a kind of interesting story. So I went through a car accident. I had a whole car accident back in 2017. Yeah. So in 2019, that's when I began my business. And I said, you know what? I have no money to do this. I'm like living paycheck to paycheck. I have three mouths to feed. How am I going to do this? So you know what I did? I called up my lawyer and I'm like, listen, I know this money is coming. So is there any way I can get at least like $2,000 out of that money? Like, can I take out of a loan? A loan? And he actually said, yes, that's possible. That is a thing. <laughs> so I got really I lucky. Knew that. I got really lucky. So you and started your business started. with just $2,000? Just do that. What business exactly did you use that money for? Okay, so I have a co I have a cosmetics company and I make everything from scratch. It's so hard, but I love it to death. Like I have lashes, lip glosses. Lip glosses is like my number one thing. Like I, I have a passion for it. Um, and then lashes, lip glosses, and like oils for your skin to treat like not treat, but it's to soothe a lot of like issues. Like eczema? Yeah, eczema. There you eczema go. Eczema <laughs> and like psoriasis. Psoriasis, yes. Like, like calming your skin. Exactly. I feel it. I, feel I it. love it so much. See, so my story obviously was a little bit more traumatizing is the word I like to use. Traumatizing. Um, I moved out with some boy and oh, I, yes. yeah, I, I was, know this story. Yeah, I was <laughs> drop shipping um, fishing pole pens and then cosmetics to then like really just diving into the baby niche. The baby niche is something that I've just always been passionate about for whatever reason, even though I don't have children. Um, I've just always found a passion with children and infancy, infancy and then toddlers, of course. Um, and that's why I continue to always end up back in the children's niche. It's so crazy. Yeah. But some of the great ways that you can find funds in 2021 is going to be DoorDash for sure at the top of the list. Right. You can actually do DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats with a bicycle, or even just your own two legs. Those are going to be your top things to be able to make money just in your local area if you're trying to make quick cash. Now, it does require a bank account to withdraw those funds, but for the most part, it is fairly simple to be able to make money with those apps. Do you have a way that you want to chime in with? That's true, too. I would say if, you, if you're if you starting out and you have a product that you're very passionate about and you know that it works, you can really do like a door-to-door -door type of thing. If you really want to like, <laughs> like take it Clinton. back in the day, you really can just go door-to-door -door and just push your product because it's your item. You are passionate about it and you just know that it works. Somebody is going to buy it. <laughs> See, I don't have the balls for that. I, <laughs> I always think somebody is going to kidnap me. I just, I really, in my heart, just think somebody's going to kidnap me and then they're going to return me because I talk too much. It's just, See, for me, I think it's because I have that experience. So I used to work at like Verizon and Optimum. And with Optimum, it was door to door. You see how like it's freezing cold outside, yeah. snowing. Door to door, I'm knocking, asking, hey, you, you guys want to buy Optimum today? It would be a door slam or they would be like, yeah, Not come on in. Slam. How many door slams would you say it took before you got a sale? Whoa, a lot. 
And that's what I mean. I feel like so many people always think within the first like 10, 15 tries, you're supposed to get a sale or a hundred dollars a day or things like that. And you know, what's crazy is like, I I always tell people like my situation was a true anomaly Mm -hmm. because I only have 30 days. (laughs) <laughs> to find three thousand dollars and don't i don't recommend it to anybody i don't tell anybody that it's going to be possible for them to do that i really was like an anomaly of a situation it was like sink or swim or really in this case eviction and my story still ended the same way i still got evicted i just didn't get evicted for non-payment i got evicted for flooding wow right imagine being so angry that i pushed through the rent and made the money that you just say air this bitch out basically so you flood my entire oh. condo so not only did I get evicted, but the everybody that lived beneath me had to move too. Oh man, we all got evicted as a whole. <laughs> like wow, I can't even imagine what they were going. It was like a like, group L, oh. <laughs> a group L. Oh, but those are some top ways. Another great way to come up with extra funds is freelancing. You know, doing graphic design. You don't have to be a perfect graphic designer. You know, there's YouTube University. So many of us fail to realize you can use Canva, which is 100% free. An app called Over, which is O-V-E-R. I know everybody always thinks there's some different spelling. And then you can just apply to be a freelancer on websites such as Fiverr, which is Mm F-I-B-E-R-R.com, Upwork.com, onlinejobs.ph. There's so many places that you're able to do things just as simple as answering emails for $7 to $13 an hour or even $4 an hour if you're truly desperate to, you know, make some type of online income. Yeah. But in the event that you do not have a debit card or a bank account, what can you do to make money? Hmm. I would say... I would say There's, get a job. <laughs> Donate yeah. blood. Oh, that's a good one. Donating too. blood and plasma. Donating anything. Yeah. Clothes. No, oh, how about Pinterest? Clothes. Can you? Yeah. I didn't know. Not that. Pinterest. It's Poshmark. Like Poshmark. Mercury you app. Still, you still need a bank account. Who so you? you would need Plato's Closet will give you cash on hand. Okay. Donating you. your plasma at the blood bank gives you $57. Donating sperm, $25. Donating eggs, which is like a, I think that's a long process, but you can get up to like $5,000 to donate eggs. Um, Another great way without a bank account to make money would be flat out just getting a job, honestly. Just getting a job. Um, Participating in lab researches, um, like getting vaccines that aren't. FDA approved yet. Oh, yeah, you can try a lot of products. Yeah, you can try products like Mm -hmm. drinking soiled milk. Um, They'll give you like $20. $20. Like, any, like, if you go to school or if you are interested in trying to find a quick way to make cash, you can always go to the bulletin boards on college campuses. Yeah. Or start a YouTube. Yes, yeah, start a YouTube. There you go. If you don't have a camera, you can mm-hmm. always use your phone. Always. Um, working for moving companies, cash on hand. Moving yeah. companies always do cash. Those are cash based jobs. Any lawn service um, is a cash based job. There's so many babysitting. ways. Babysitting. Babysitting. There's so many ways for you to go out and get cash in 2021. Um, even just COVID prevention. Just telling people to pull their mask up, people will pay you to do that. That's true, too. Like, literally every day. Pull your mask up over your nose. <laughs> like, you can get paid to be a COVID prevention officer. Yeah. And walk around and police people about masks. Exactly. It's a job now. Like, it's a real <laughs> job. And then, like, just being, like, a COVID prevention person and you sit on the phone all day and you, you calculate the people that die from COVID and survive yeah. COVID. You just do the statistics of it, you know? There's so many different avenues so just many. off of the pandemic itself. You know, working for Amazon has increased people wearing masks, people buying masks, being a mask designer. All of these things are slowly becoming the new norm, and it's a great way to open up the the availability of new jobs because in the same sense a lot of people are losing jobs yeah. but new jobs are now presenting themselves for the everyday american which is so crazy because you never look at it that way you know um a woman at home labs test her company evaluation was a few million dollars and then april of 2020 her company went well over a billion dollars in evaluations because Wow. Nobody was taking at home, you know, people would get DNA tests, but nobody was, there wasn't really a strong mainstream market for at home lab testing right. until COVID hit and she came out with an at home COVID test, Wow. putting her company into a billion dollar evaluation, which is crazy. That's crazy. That's like crazy. just to be able to take your business from a few Genius. million dollars to billions of dollars <laughs> over a test, <laughs> over a simple test, or even, you know, the COVID testing sites. We've gone through them. They look like drive-thrus. 
They're very cheaply made. You know, you pull up in a car, somebody with gloves sticks yep. you in your nose, and you drive away, and you come back, and they charge you like $100 for it. It's crazy. They don't even have a facility in 2021. You just drive up, somebody pokes you, takes your information, charges your card, and you drive away. Yep. And the cars will be there from dusk till dawn. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we always, we always look at finding new ways and finding income and ways we can make funds when they're always right in our backyard. We just don't know what exactly. we're looking for. And what are some of the things that you've noticed during COVID has, ha, that have just opened up? Um, I want to say just a lot of black owned businesses have just came up and I, I love it. Like a lot of people have been like digging their nails in the ground trying to get their businesses started. And it's such a beautiful thing because when you think about before the pandemic, it wasn't a lot of businesses. Like now everything is just booming and I just love it. And you know what's crazy is Walmart Marketplace has only been a year old as an online retailer and the pandemic has put Walmart Marketplace as a key competitor and one of the leading e-commerce platforms that people buy on in 2021. Yeah. And so many people didn't even know you could sell on Walmart. Yep. Like as just a regular, regular person can list anything they would like on Walmart.com and yep. make a consistent, stable income. And that is just, again, you know, people not look, people looking in their backyard, but not knowing where to look. Yeah. That's like Facebook Marketplace, too. Mm -hmm. Facebook Marketplace has is like, it's grown to be grown. such yeah. a trusted online selling platform to the point where OfferUp and LetGo combined. Yeah. Like, because they're trying to compete with Facebook Marketplace from yeah. reviews and just being able to connect with locals to being able to connect with people in different zip codes. You can change your zip code on Facebook Marketplace. A lot of people yeah. don't realize that. You can totally sell to people that in other states. You There's so many ways to make an online sale from your fingertips. Yeah. You can literally make four to five figures from the comfort of your own home selling anything from dumbbells to indoor heaters. Yeah. Look at Amazon. I know, right? <laughs> Amazon. Like, you can be your own Amazon in 2021. Yep. It's just what do you want to sell on exactly. your Exactly. How did you get into what you wanted to sell? Um, I was actually inspired by this really nice, famous YouTuber. And she, like, really inspired me because I always knew that I wanted to be a business owner. I always knew I had that passion for it. Like, I literally just burned for that, just the fire of just being a business owner. So I always knew that I wanted to do cosmetics, but then seeing that YouTuber just put everything up here and it just summed everything up. I'm just like, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to start it. I'm just going to go all <laughs> hands on. I'm just going to get get it done. No, I can totally respect that. It's, it's so crazy how one person or one video or one post just can inspiring. put you in a place that is like, okay, I want to do this. I would like... You know, and I felt like that when I saw Billie Jean actually speak and Eric Thomas. Oh, yeah. um, it just really put me in a sense of like, we make money all day, every day doing, you know, our passion. But so many people don't know their purpose or their passion exactly. to be able to even make it profitable. Yep. I wake up every day and I know exactly That's what I need one. to do to be able to make what I want to make in the way that makes me happy to a point where I can move very, very spontaneous. Exactly. And that's a blessing. <laughs> that's really good. And so many people haven't found that purpose to be able to find that profitability yep because it really just comes down to what do you want to do and i this is i just did another a, a recent video on this i think it dropped maybe like four days ago a lot of businesses are failing their everyone is like well not everyone but a lot of businesses are giving up because they don't have their niche they just don't know what it is they want to do they're just gonna go out there on a on a is it a whim go out there on a whim and just like hey you know what I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. And you don't have the passion for it. If you're going to invest your, your money, your life, your time into a business, make sure it's something that you really, really want to do. Don't just do it just because, you know, it's what's in or it's something that's popular. Make sure you do it because you really want to do it and you stick through with your goal. Make a plan, set it and just follow through. No, and that's a fact because your passion is always going to be profitable. If you know what you want to sell, no matter if it's bathrobes, shoes, yes. cosmetics, or hair, you can make it profitable just based off the fact that you know that product like the back of your hand and you also are a customer of that product. And it's way yeah. easier to sell as a seller when you've been a customer before. Oh, yes. Good one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> is there anything you want to add? Um, I would say 
follow when I said you know make your plan and follow through with it you guys it's like you never know what doors will open for you once you you get that plan going you, you start setting your goals and you just start attacking everything doors will open for you and you'll just be like so surprised that everything is just literally falling into place it will no, fall into and place that's a fact like and even if the door doesn't open knock it down yeah, like, honestly, kick it. <laughs> like just, just like put yourself in the room that you feel like you deserve to be in, and then from there everything else falls apart or yeah. falls in place. That's what I meant to say. But make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and as always, you'll be able to find both of our Instagrams in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys. Peace.